Utaida. This alone is second polar bodies. This Utaida get metamorphosed into functional egg that is ovum or egg. This phase that is called as phase of maturation. Phase of maturation. This is the process of homogenesis. It takes place in human female. Here, once again, you can see. Here, I can write. Uh, Meiosis second. Here also unequal division. Deployed ovarian cells are there that increase its number by mitosis to form daughter cells. They are also deployed in nature. Then, the growth process by increasing the cytoplasmic content and size of the nucleus. Here, the enlarged ovarian cell after growth that is called primary oocytes. It undergo meiosis, first unequal division, to form first polar body and secondary oocytes. Both undergo meiosis, second unequal division. Second polar bodies are formed and enlarged uh, cell that is called ootide. This inactive ootide can metamorphose into ovum, active ovum or egg. You can observe at the end of ugonium, uh, sorry, end of oogenesis, how many eggs are released? Only one. One egg is released. And remaining small size cells, they are called as polar bodies, they undergo uh, degenerated. Disintegrated and degeneration of polar bodies takes place. That is why, because there is lack of, due to lack of food, reserve food is absent. That's why they undergo degeneration. At the end of homogenesis, single egg is followed. Okay. Yes, next aspect is structure of graphene follicle. So, number of follicles developed inside the ovary and one follicle can mature per menstrual cycle that releases one egg. Every menstrual cycle. In case of human female, that menstrual cycle repeats at every 28 days. So, within 28 days, one egg is released. That egg is developed inside the structure, specialized structure, that is known as graphene follicle. So, it may be uh, primary oocyte, previously secondary oocyte, then uh, get maturation that is converted into graphene follicle where the egg growth and development takes place. Here, this graphene follicle is explicitly covered by two types of muscle, muscular layers. Outer circular muscles, muscles that is theca externa. Just below the theca externa, another elongated, longitudinal muscles that is theca interna and spherical shaped cells that surrounding to the uh, antrum that is membrana granulosa layer and the cavity present inside the coffin follicle is known as antrum. This antrum which poses a liquid substance this is known as liquor follicle liquor follicle and specialized 
cells serving to the egg that is known as corona radiata inside this egg possess egg nucleus and also ooplasm is present and that connect connection between this egg corona radiata with the membrana granulosa this connection is called as cumulus oophorus so ille one more question kelta idare name the cavity of trophic follicle that is antrum okay so this is the structure of graphene follicle you can make it practice and next after all genesis egg is released what is the structure of egg what are the nucleus present here this is the structure of egg which possesses a single nucleus nucleus which contain haploid maternal chromosomes chromosome from mother side and then the cytoplasm of egg that is called ooplasm where little amount of uh, reserve food material or yolk or it may be absent then this is surrounded by zona different layers that is zona pellucida vitelline membrane and corona radiata the follicle cells of corona radiata so single egg is released per menstrual cycle uh, menstrual cycle is repeated at every 28 days in that period only one egg is released exceptionally it may be two or three or more eggs may be released so that is the structure ee veradu structure anna correct age draw maadbeku book dalli that is a homework adar bage expression over ibeku amale next inor question ide barko beku neevu correct age book dalli adu enu pa antandre write the difference between ida veradu process ನಾವು ನೋಡಿದೀವಿ ಸ್ಪರ್ಮಡೋಜೆನಿಸಿಸ್ ಗೊತ್ತಾಗಿದೆ ಓಜಿನಿಸ್ ಕೂಡ ಗೊತ್ತಾಗಿದೆ ಈ ಇದರಲ್ಲಿ ಎರಡು ಕ್ವಶನ್ಸ್ ಅನ್ನ ಕೇಳ್ತಾರೆ ಎಕ್ಸಾಮ್ ನಲ್ಲಿ ಬಂದಿದೆ ಈಗಾಗಲೇ ಕೆಲವೊಂದು ಸಾರಿ ಒಂದೇದು ಬರ್ಕೊಡ್ರಿ ಒಂದು ರೈಟ್ ದ ಡಿಫರೆನ್ಸ್ ಬಿಟ್ವೀನ್ ಸ್ಪರ್ಮಟೋಜೆನಿಸಿಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಓಜಿನಿಸಿಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಸೆಕೆಂಡ್ ಒನ್ ರೈಟ್ ದ ಡಿಫರೆನ್ಸ್ ಬಿಟ್ವೀನ್ ಸ್ಪರ್ಮ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಎಗ್ so this is copper for you next aspect is menstrual cycle so what is menstrual cycle it is a reproductive cycle in female primates that is example monkey apes and human beings that is called as menstrual cycle so in case of human beings the menstrual cycle begins for the first time that is called as menarche this is the first menstruation in the human female that starts in the puberty age puberty age that is a uh, 32 14th age of female that the beginning of menstrual cycle that is called as menarche in the age of 45 to 55 the stage of menstrual cycle or stoppage of menstrual cycle that is called as menopause that reproductive age is between 13 to 45 on an average okay then in case of human female that the menstrual period is 1 to 28 days 1 to 28 days here we find out there are four stages in the menstrual cycle first one is 
menstrual phase that begins from one to five days. One to fifth days, this is menstrual phase. Here, what happens? Shedding of endometrium. What is endometrium? So endometrium is innermost layer of the uterus of mother. So breaking of endometrium, breaking of endometrium starts from one to five days that leads to the formation of menses that uh, blood vessels become ruptured that releases the uh, blood from the reproductive part. Then, second phase is pre-ovulatory or follicular phase. It begins from 6th days to 13th day of the menstrual cycle. 5th to 13th day. So this is what? Pre-ovulatory phase. Pre-ovulatory phase. What is this? Pre-ovulatory means, pre means before. Before the formation of egg, that phase is called as pre-ovulatory phase. Or this is also called as follicular phase. Here, graphene follicle growth takes place and the secretion of gonadotropins. What are those gonadotropins? Mainly, these hormones FSH and LH. These two hormones are called gonadotropins. Follicle stimulating hormone and luteinizing hormone. These gonadotropin hormones starts to secrete that releases the uh, graphene follicle and growth and development of graphene follicle with egg takes place. That phase is called as pre-ovulatory phase or follicular phase. Then third phase is ovulatory phase. So this is on 14th day of the menstrual cycle. 14th day. This is ovulatory phase. In that period or on the day, 14th day, there is release of egg takes place. Why? Because due to LH surge, LH surge, then one marks will carry there. What is LH surge? That means the secretion of gonadotropins like FSH and LH which is at its highest peak maximum secretion of follicle stimulating hormone and luteinizing hormone that leads to the release of egg from the graphene follicle that will become ruptured and releases the egg so this is ovulatory phase and post ovulatory phase means uh, after ovulation if there is no fertilization fertilization means fusion of male and female gametes if there is no sexual contact between male and female what happens in the post ovulatory phase again uh, Regeneration of endometrium takes place. Here, in the menstrual cycle, what happens? Due to shedding of endometrium, degeneration of endometrium layer, that means breaking of endometrium, leads to the formation of blood from the blood vessels. Here, what happens if no fertilization? Again, regrowth, regeneration of endometrium layer takes place. If fertilization occurs on 14th day of the menstrual cycle, what happens? 
that leads to the formation of another layer that is called as corpus luteum. So this period is post bullet period is 15th to 28th day. On the 14th day, if fertilization takes place, that leads to the formation of corpus luteum. This uh, secrete the hormone progesterone. Progesterone is pregnancy hormone. It maintains pregnancy. If no fertilization, the corpus luteum break up that forms yellow fluid that is discharged from the vaginal tissue. So finally, again, that menstrual cycle repeats. So these are the different phases of menstrual cycle. You can remember, if the woman having exact 28 days of menstrual period, 1 to 5 days is the menstrual phase, 6 to 30th day is pre-ovulatory, exactly on 14th day, of the menstrual cycle, there should be release of egg due to the early search and post volatile phase. Two aspects you can remember. One is during the fertilization period, another one if no fertilization occurs. Okay, this is the aspects of menstrual cycle. Here, next is Fertilization. What is fertilization? Fusion of male and female gametes or the fusion of haploid sperm with the haploid egg to form diploid zygote. How it takes place in female? Just uh, shortly I will explain. You can see the reproductive structure of female. These are the pair of testes, the current uterus, infundibulum, fimbriae, they are all present. This is the cervix part. And this is the uterus. And we know the structure of female reproductive system. And what is this? This is fallopian tube, ampulla, isthmic junction. Here, where did fertilization takes place in human female? During sexual contact or the copulation, male releases the sperm into the uterus through the cervical part. These sperms, millions of sperms, they move towards the upper part of the fallopian tube, both on the right side as well as left side. If it will take place on 14th day of the menstrual cycle, there is release of egg takes place by the ovary. This egg is moved towards the fallopian tube and sperm will come near to the egg and affect the fertilization. So this fertilization takes place in the upper part of the fallopian tube. After fertilization, this gyrot moves towards the uterus part. It is revolving inside the uterus up to 7 days. Seven days. After seven days, this zygote attaches to the inner wall of the uterus that is called as implantation. Implantation. So, like this, process of fertilization takes place.
in case of human beings if it is an egg sperm will come in contact with the egg with the help of prosome cap it crosses the corona radiator zona pellucida vitelline membrane and enter into the egg plasm the whole sperm is entered into the egg and breaking of the head reason penetration of acrosom can and releases the egg into the ooplasm that main haploid egg new, uh, sperm nucleus fuses with the haploid egg nucleus to form diploid zygote is formed diploid zygote is formed so this fusion of both male pronucleus and female pronucleus that is called as amphibixis amphibixis so it may be asked for one more question define amphibixis ok so this is the process of fertilization 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 and other gotaita ili male other sperm and male female gamete egg ellu follow up into the diffusion agutte zygote formation agutte next uterus kali move agutte yevlu dina ili cyclic movement agta irutade after 7 days if you try wall is uh, fully uh, developed so this zygote uh, starts to attach on the inner wall of the uterus that is to the endometrium and that uh, pregnancy is maintained that process is called as implantation ok sex determination in child in case of human beings how it takes place sex determination in child in case of human beings males are heterogametic heterogametic means two types of sperms are formed two types of sperms that is one is x sperm another one y sperm that's why it is called heterogametic two types of sperms and females are homogametic 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 homo means same here only one type of egg that is with the X egg so in case of male spermatogenesis takes place spermatogenesis takes place during spermatogenesis two types of sperm X sperm and Y sperm in case of female oogenesis takes place only X egg is less. During fertilization, fusion process is uh, variable. Here, if X sperm fuses with the X egg that maintain XX condition that form female baby. If Y sperm fuses with the X egg to form XY condition, it result male baby so x sperm x exotic kodidaga female formation agutte female baby adhe y sperm by chance vector y sperm x exotic kodidaga x y condition agutte so this is a kind of sex determination in human beings ee eradu shabda gotirbeku heterogametic homogametic 
हेटेरो मीन्स डिफरेंट एर टाइम पॉप फार्मेशन आगते सो इन नाब मेल बेबी एंड फिमेल बेबी इज डिसाइडेड बै द फादर नाट बै द मदर बिका फादर प्रोड्यूस टू टाइप आफ मेल कैमिक्स एक्स एंड पाइस पॉप सो दिस इज कन्फर्म जस्ट आफ्टर दि फर्टिलाइजेशन इन केस ऑफ ह्यूमन बीइंग्स सो दिस इज द टाइप ऑफ सेक्स डिटरमिनेशन एक्स 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 वाई टाइप ऑफ सेक्स डिटरमिनेशन इन ह्यूमन बीइंग्स नेक्स्ट एस्पेक्ट इज इम्प्लांटेशन इन वन मार्क्स डेफिनेशन प्रोसेस टू टू थ्री मार्क्स बरबाद इंप्लांटेशन ये इंप्लांटेशन मीन द प्रोसेस आफ अटैचमेंट आफ लास्टोसिस्ट एम्रियो टू दि वाल आफ दि यूटर और दि एंडोमेट्री दट इज कल implantation so this implantation takes place seven days after fertilization fertilization or the year the nantara nantara implantation aagta irutade hege illodri idu sperm anta telkolodu male gamete so this is egg the process enanta karithi fusion aadre Fertilization that we are doing. So this is zygote. The first zygote is formed. This time zygote undergo cleavage. Two cells, two cell stages. First cleavage. This is the first cleavage. Then second cleavage. Four cells are formed. Then third cleavage. Eight cells. horizontal division one is meridional second one right angles to the first division third division is horizontal this is four cells and this is eight cells then two meridional divisions this is first one second one third fourth and fifth divisions are occur So this is 16 cells. This stage is called as molar stage embryo. 8 to 16 cell stage embryo is called molar stage. Then divisions are irregular to form number of cells, many cells. That stage of embryo is called as Blastocyst embryo. This is developed from molar stage embryo. So here you can see the diagram. Correct angle view diagram. Take it, take it. Look, look at it. Outermost layer. Here is the trophoblast. Trophoblast cells, and this cavity is blastocyst. इधर वन मार्क तल किया था रे एंड दिस अ एम्ब्रियोप्लास्ट एम्ब्रियोप्लास्ट ऑब्सर्वेशन बन रही ऑटर मॉस ने ट्रोपोप्लास्ट प्लास्टोसिस दिस इज अ कैविटी ऑफ प्लास्टोसिस एम्ब्रियो एंड इनर मास ऑफ सेल्स दैट इज कॉल्ड एम्ब्रियोप्लास्ट दिस इज द स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ प्लास्टोसिस एम्ब्रियो ये प्लास्टोसिस स्टेज बंदा यूटरस तले एंडोमेट्रियम ले रहे थे इनर वॉल ऑफ यूटरस आदर को भी अटैचमेंट आए बनाते हैं हेग अटैचमेंट आए बनाते हैं ना इधर एंडोमेट्रियम में तेरे को लेते हैं सो इधर मास्टोसिस्ट एम्ब्रियो लाइक दिस लेना करते हैं ना ऑटोमोस ले रहे थे ना ट्रोपोब्लास्ट सेल ये ट्रोपोब्लास्ट सेल सो proteolytic enzymes 
that dissolves the membrane of endometrium. One of the things that dissolves the membrane of endometrium is the process system. This process is called as implantation. So it takes place seven days after fertilization. So pregnancy is maintained. At the point of contact between blastocyst and the endometrium, there is a development of placenta. That is, we can see in the next aspect, that is placenta. Yes. Next aspect is placenta. After implantation, placenta is developed. What is placenta? Placenta means the organic connection between uh, the mother and the fetus for the exchange of physiological substances. That is called placenta. Here, what are the functions of placenta? It plays an important role in the growth and development of baby inside the mother. First one, elimination of excretory substances. Excretory substances like nitrogenous wastes raised by the fighters, that is passed through the umbilical cord and it trained to the mother blood. And also transfer of electrolytes, various nutrients, glucose, amino acids, whatever the food is digested inside the digestive system of mother that is passed through the placenta entered into the baby. That exchange of nutrient molecules, electrolytes and also transport of substances like antibodies mainly through human placenta antibodies like IgG immunoglobulin G is passed from mother to the fighters to provide immunity to the baby and also due to the release or the elimination of nitrogenous waste that is antacid kidney and transportation of nutrients it is act as an elementary canal before the development of major organs. Then it secretes some hormones. So this is important as per two marks. Name the hormones released by the placenta. There are four hormones are there: HCG, SPL, estrogen, and progesterone. Here, HCG means what? Human chorionic gonadotropin HPL human placental lactogen and third estrogen female sex hormone and fourth one progesterone female pregnancy hormone so this is about placenta you can remember the definition and the functions we may ask for one or three marks only functions for two marks ok and next aspect is embryonic development. So, after implantation, embryo develops three germ layers outer ectoderm, middle mesoderm, inner endoderm. Here, these three germ layers form different body tissues and organs. Gestation period at the birth. Gestation period means what? Pregnancy period just after the fertilization and the delivery of baby. That period is about nine months in case of human beings. In nine months, the lay, events, the important CET point of view, skeleton, and need exam. You can remember after one month, one month of pregnancy, heart formation heart sound cures that is by uh, using the stethoscope we observe the listening of uh, heart sound end of second month 
fetus develops limbs and digits limbs formation aagutte idrinda digits kuda formation aagutte end of third month andre first trimester anta karithivi major organ systems are formed excretory system digestive system circulatory system and nervous system even the different major uh, organ systems even the formation aagutte ಮೂರು ತಿಂಗಳು ಆದ್ಮೇಲೆ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ವೆರಿ ಫಿಫ್ತ್ ಮಂತ್ ಐದೇ ತಿಂಗಳಿಗೆ ಮೂಮೆಂಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಫೈಟಸ್ ಮಗು ಮೂವ್ ಆಗ್ಲಿಕ್ಕೆ ಸ್ಟಾರ್ಟ್ ಆಗುತ್ತೆ ಕಾಲಿನ ಬಿಡ್ಲಿಕ್ಕೆ ಕೂಡ ಸ್ಟಾರ್ಟ್ ಮಾಡುತ್ತೆ ಅಂಡ್ ಅಪಿಯರೆನ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಹೇರ್ಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ದಿ ಬಾಡಿ ಬಾಡಿ ಮೇಲೆ ಇವೆಲ್ಲ ಹೇರ್ಸ್ ಫಾರ್ಮೇಶನ್ ಆಗಿ ಸ್ಟಾರ್ಟ್ ಆಗುತ್ತೆ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಎಂಡ್ ಆಫ್ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ ಮಂತ್ ಐ ಲಿಡ್ಸ್ ಸಪ್ರೇಟ್ಸ್ ಮೊದಲು ಕಣ್ ಮುಚ್ಚಿರ್ತದೆ ಐ ಲಿಡ್ ಸಪ್ರೇಷನ್ ಈ ಐ ಲಿಡ್ಸ್ ಓಪನ್ ಆಗಿಬಿಡುತ್ತೆ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ ಮಂತ್ಸ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಐ ಲ್ಯಾಶಸ್ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಸ್ಮಾಲ್ ಹೇರ್ಸ್ ಆಗುತ್ತೆ ಜಸ್ಟ್ ಇನ್ ದಿ ಟಿಪ್ ಆಫ್ ದಟ್ ಐ ಲಿಡ್ಸ್ ಐ ಲ್ಯಾಶಸ್ ಕೂಡ ಫಾರ್ಮೇಶನ್ ಆಗುತ್ತೆ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಎಟ್ ದ ಎಂಡ್ ಆಫ್ ನೈನ್ ಮಂತ್ ಫೈಟಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಫುಲ್ಲಿ ಗ್ರೋಲ್ಡ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಡೆವಲಪ್ಡ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ರೆಡಿ ಫಾರ್ ಡೆಲಿವರಿ ಓಕೆ ಸೊ ದಿಸ್ ಆರ್ ದಿ ಡಿಫ್ರೆಂಟ್ ಮೇಜರ್ ದಟ್ ಇವೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ದಟ್ ಟೇಕ್ಸ್ ಪ್ಲೇಸ್ ಡ್ಯೂರಿಂಗ್ ಎಂಬ್ರಾನಿಕ್ ಡೆವಲಪ್ಮೆಂಟ್ So, this is the 2nd trimester of the Karitiri at the end of 6 months, eyelid separation of the Karitiri at the end of 6 months, eyelid separation of the Karitiri at the end of 6 months, eyelid separation of the Karitiri at the end of 6 months, eyelid separation of the Karitiri at the end of 6 months, eyelid separation of the Karitiri at the end of 6 months, eyelid separation of the Karitiri at the end of 6 months, eyelid separation of the Karitiri at the end of 6 months, eyelid separation of the Karitiri at the end of 6 months, eyelid separation of the Karitiri at the end of 6 months, eyelid separation of the Karitiri at the end of 6 months, ಇದರಿಂದ ನೀವು ಬರ್ಕೋಬೇಕು ಬುಕ್ದಲ್ಲಿ ಅದನ್ನ ಏನು ಕುಳಿತದೆ ಓದಲಿಕ್ಕೆ ಅನುಕೂಲ ಆಗ್ತಾ ಇರ್ತದೆ ಸೊ ದಿಸ್ ಈಸ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ದಿ ಪ್ಲಾಸಿಟ ಅಂಡ್ ದಿ ಎಂಬ್ರಿಯಾನಿಕ್ ಡೆವಲಪ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಇನ್ ದಿ ಲಾಸ್ಟ್ ಅಸ್ಪೆಕ್ಟ್ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಡಿಸ್ಕಸ್ ಪಾರ್ಚುರೇಷನ್ ಸೊ ದಿಸ್ ಈಸ್ ಅಷ್ಟು ಒನ್ ಮೋರ್ ಕ್ವಶನ್ Parturition means at the end of pregnancy delivery of baby or child birth is called parturition. Gestation period is 9 months. Umbar tingle arathe, fetus growth arathe. At the end of 9 months. that uh, release or expulsion of baby from the uterus of the mother by stronger and stronger contraction of uterine wall that leads to the child birth that is called as parturition so parturition is induced by neuroendocrine mechanism here you can see the fetus inside the body of the mother this is womb of the mother where the growth of baby takes place you can see this is the fallopian tube where fertilization takes place and this is uterine wall here placenta is there and this is fully developed baby umbilical cord this is umbilical cord and this is placenta fetus and this is this cavity is amniotic fluid amniotic fluid if fluid the baby float out there the day and this cavity is known as amnion 
it is surrounded by another one layer this is chorion so this is plug of mucus plug of mucus cervix part or the birth canal birth canal this is uterine wall uterine wall you can see here fetal ejection reflex means what Fetal ejection reflexes. Fetal ejection reflexes means the signals originated from fully developed baby and the placenta reaches to the brain. They provide a message to the pituitary glands to secrete hormone that is oxytocin initially it is very low amount of oxy oxytocin is released into the blood reaches to the uterine wall here smooth muscles are there that contraction starts when the oxidation level increases in the blood vigorous contraction and relaxation of muscles present in the myometrium that result the baby pushes outside through the birth canal that causes delivery of the baby that is known as parturition fetal ejection reflexes it is just one more question definition further that means the signals originated from the fetus and the placenta which is the brain that give the instruction to the pituitary gland to secrete oxytocin hormone Due to the secretion of oxytocin hormone, contraction of uterine wall takes place. That is called as fetal ejection reflexes. Okay. Due to the effect of this oxytocin hormone, that baby passes through the birth canal. Delivery takes place. This parturition process is completed. After the parturition, lactation. Takes this lactation. Lactation means the release of milk from the mammary glands just after the parturition. That is known as lactation. Milk is formed that nourishes the baby. That milk, initial milk. Released by the memory glands of the mother just after the parturition, it is called as colostrum. Colostrum. This is also asked for one more question. What is colostrum? This is the initial milk released by the memory glands of the mother just after the parturition. That is induced by this hormone also. Oxytocin. So this colostrum is very important, which contain antibodies, mainly the IgG. These antibodies uh, provide immunity to the baby. It protect the baby from various pathogens present in the environment. So in the lactation, hormone, colostrum, fertilization reflexes, 
postulation younger terms definitions for therapy okay so this is the end of the topic human reproduction so second aspect ivattin do helidatu human reproduction dalli that is starts from oogenesis oogenesis to last postulation you can read it well make your notes and some questions also okay thank you thank you very much